Sawfish Tank. What's up, Fish Tank people? Part two of the New Year's Eve live stream. Bringing it to you with the woo. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. Having a good time uh, on a good internet connection. It's one of my favorite tracks in the background. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, sit here and do a little Q&A. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to uh, kick it with some of my people in the neighborhood. Some live uh, interaction, if you will. So uh, we're doing good. You liking it now? Is it good now? Got the good internet. Got the beats. Got the coffee. It's time to get moving. What's going on? Yup. Yeah. What's good, everybody? Cool. I got the chats right here. We got the beats. How's the, uh, how's the connection here, folks? Those of you watching this... Uh, not live this is what it is sorry for the uh technical issues and having to check everything you know i don't have my guy andrew here so i don't have any uh sort of technical help if you will so it's all me to to be the, the dancing monkey on the cage and uh the technical guy so we're rolling so is it all right though the sounds good the uh audio the video everything good for you all connection is amazing wow Hope it's not too amazing because you can't see that I got it shaved. But uh trying to get it rolling for you guys. Cool. I got my coffee. It's in here. It's probably still warm too. Yeah. It's good too. You guys got it? You got the triumph there? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Now I can see all your little chats. Now I'm not as mobile here, which is why I originally started out with the iPhone. Christy, you're doing a great job with uh, blocking everybody on that. Yeah, so can I get a one if you want me to uh, get rolling because it's good, or two if it's terrible? One if it's ter or one if it's good, two if it's terrible. Hit that up. Boom. It's a one. It's a one. It's a win. It's a one. It's a win. Should I turn the woo down? I like the woo. You're back. Yeah, I'm back. Guess who's back? I should have played that. That would have been better. Well, the old, uh, the old uh, Eminem song. Oh, man. So what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, you got to know what you've done to know where you're going. I'm going to get into questions at the end of this, but I did want to just uh, say what's up to everybody. And, um, and uh, I'll get your questions at the end, but I'm going to uh, talk about some of the things I'm excited about, and then some of the things that I've got uh, planned for the new year. So we're going to do a little quick recap. I think it's important. I think y'all are here. Uh, let's see here. What did we do? We did the small tank series. That was fun. Anybody like small tank series? Is this real life? Yes, yeah, real life. I uh, got the greenhouse more dialed in, um, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to talk about the greenhouse more dialed in in a minute. This year we did the uh, sham wild video. That as a YouTube creator, that's uh, disappointing for me. Actually, that was kind of one of my things I wasn't too pumped about because I thought that video, I, I thought there was going to be an Academy Award waiting for me at the end of the uh, driveway, the day I did it, and uh, it didn't happen like that. But that's YouTube, though. It sucks. Like I was talking to the guys at uh, Bulk Reef Supply, and they said their biggest, uh, their biggest video is like some like little, uh, it's a little Evo like Nano Cube or whatever. So, um, keep the woo on. I can't. I'll get a copyright strike. That's another beef with woo. Um, but yeah, so I was bummed about that, but I thought that was a really bomb video. Wait, you're not the ShamWow guy. No, I'm not the ShamWow guy. But I thought it was funny, and I think anybody that can make fun of themselves is a better person. And I like, I don't know, I like making fun of myself. I think it's funny. I think people actually, uh, I don't know. I, th I thought it was a really great time. So the ShamWow video is something I had fun with. Um, one of the big, uh, the, the hits I had this year, though, and I'll, I'll talk about it, is uh, the, the top five videos crushed. For me, I did not think they would do so well, but they did. I had uh, I had the uh, top five most pissed off fish. Everyone thought I was really pissed off. I'm not pissed off. I just seem pissed off in the video. It's an act. Then I had my top five most gangster fish, which I thought was a good video as well. I'll probably have to link all these up. Top five nano fish, and I did a collab with Rachel Leary uh, outside or outside, uh, right right around there too. She's got a lot of great nano fish. Shout out to her too. She got the uh, 
she got the wonderful greenhouse going too. Saw a picture of that in Pennsylvania snow. Oof. Um, did that. Got the top five worst lives ever. Fished with the worst lives ever. I thought that was pretty cool. And um, I thought that was a fun one. And uh, top, top five uh, wild caught fish. That was a cool video to kind of recap the Peru stuff. So yeah, it was cool. It was exciting to see those uh, those videos pop. And I wish I could pop out a, uh, a pop five. I wish I could pop a pop five. What am I saying? Am I even here? Uh, I wish I could do a top five video all the time. I just got to get the creative juices flowing to uh, to get those rolling for you all. So we're working on that, trying to get that going. Uh, let's see here. One of the biggest things that I did this year, it's kind of video related. I don't know if you like this guy. Uh, what do you guys think about Josh? I think Josh is one of my, uh, my probably my number one move this year because he helped me get, you know, they say get out of your business or whatever. So I was doing too much of the packing and production and, you know, customer service. And Josh has fun, done a fine job with that. Um, so, yeah, I, I really uh, I think Josh has come. Hey, uh, Josh rocks. Can we get some love for Josh? Josh is a natural. So the thing with Josh is like, you know, you look at Josh, you're like, oh, man, he's, he's not sure. He's got long hair. Like, dude, Josh is, yeah, one for Josh, right? Like, get a big one for Josh. Yeah, and the thing of it is, is like, I didn't want to just like hire somebody that was real, uh, you know, real good at plants, couldn't talk to customers. There's that balance of like the ability to do anything asked quickly and then also like handle customers. And Josh has done a fantastic job um, with that, with everybody. I mean, he, you know, people have problems and we're not perfect. You know, things happen, mails, and you know how the mail is. But uh, Josh has done a fantastic job. And uh, Josh has passion. And I think people, people see that in me in my videos. And uh, they see that in Josh, you know, we, 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 some stuff gets screwed up, but he, uh, you know, he'll, we'll make it right. And he does that and, and cares about the customers as much as I do, which is cool. And, and the fans in the YouTube channel, like Josh came to, uh, Rika Palooza with me, had a riot. I, had, I bought a hotel, listen to this. I bought a hotel room with two beds and I'm like spending extra cash for that. And, uh, the Josh, Josh, first of all, couldn't even make it the first day there and, uh, couldn't make it the first day there comes the set. Comes the second day, I'm like busting my butt. He's doing a great job. Comes second day, doesn't even sleep in the room. Like doesn't sleep out in the other room uh, on the couch. I'm like, bro, I paid for you to be here and I paid for you to have a bed and be well rested. And Josh did not sleep on the bed. <laughs> I was like, dude, what are you doing, man? Like, bed's right there. So uh, he uh, he has just been a great addition, and uh, he's in with me, you know, man. I mean, this isn't like I'm not I'm not selling mortgage leads or phone systems. This isn't a little tight little biz here, and uh, he's in. He's all about it, and uh, everyone's talking about the uh, everyone's talking about the just Josh the just Josh series. Um, yeah, Josh Josh is it. Yeah, but, but no, so Josh is it, man. Josh is it. Josh is gonna do a just Josh series. The thing that I like about Josh is he is he is in a, he he challenges me. He pushes me, so he pushes me to do harder stuff and, and more hard stuff. And uh, we have a uh, we have like a, a great, a very intense relationship, but a very good one because we uh, we push hard together. He pushes me, um, you know. I mean, we're bringing these imports in, we're bringing in ten thousand plants, and Josh and I I'll sit there all day, just happy as pigs, playing with the plants. I mean, you know, you pull out seventeen boxes of plants, that's a long day, and then putting them all in, and then Josh will make them grow, and uh, he's just. He's just like, uh, he just knows, he knows how to look at him. He knows how to look at the Guigia. He knows how to look at swords. I mean, I don't know if anybody's bought swords from me. And stay on this video. Don't, don't go buy stuff yet because YouTube will punish me. But, um, yeah, I mean, he like, he, the way he grows swords, like he came into my greenhouse the other day and was like, check this out, dude. It's a deep purple sword. He handed me this sword. It had like a red new growth, like the size of my palm right here, like this big. And it was just ridiculous. So it's got a whole, uh, whole thing going. So we're going to do. Um, we're going to do more with Josh. We're going to work him into the Just Josh series. Um, and, you know, it makes it easier for me to make videos uh, for you guys. And, and live is a lot of fun, too. Um, I want to talk about some of my goals for 20, what, 2018 coming up. Uh, I have a 320-gallon aquarium in my garage right now. You know what that's like for a man? You know what that does to a man's soul? I have stared at a 320-gallon aquarium for... I got that thing, uh, I don't know, November 5th or something from our friends at Custom Aquariums. I still haven't set that sucker up. You know what that's like? That's like, that's some hardcore stuff. We're going on, we're going on almost 60 days of having that thing. So uh, we're going to keep, uh, we're going to get that thing set up. And I'm real stoked about that. One of the things I want to do um, this, this coming year is I want to get some bigger fish. 
Everyone's always been pushing me uh, to. <laughs> everyone's been pushing me to get bigger fish. Where's the 320 gallon going? Is the question. And I dodge his question. I'm in the works on getting a new property, uh, a big property, and this is this is one of my goals. And it's been honestly, folks, it's been really really stressful because I'm in a, I'm in an uncontrolled situation. So like I don't control the outcomes of certain people um, with certain things. So. Uh, it's uh, I, I like I don't have the ability to control the situation, and I just have to kind of wait for the you know, rulings or whatever uh, of certain things. So the 220 is supposedly going in a new location. Uh, we'll know more about that. There's a uh, public hearing actually in Lexington about what I'm trying to do. So we're going real big. So I'm really uh, really 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 stoked about the opportunity. So you will see a lot more uh, out of me. And with that, that uh, this this larger property will allow me to do. Uh, more live events because right now I'm talking into a camera. It's about this big and while it's cool and I love your comments and your likes and your thumbs up. And if anybody's liking this, please share. Keep it here in my Hamish Pergo. <laughs> um, you know, share. But I, you know, it's not real. Like I go to the AE or whatever, or Reef of Blues, and I get to actually talk to people. And I talk to people on the phone and I'm like, hey, how's it going? Like, I, like they want to get off and I can't get off. And I'm like, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. So I really want to work on that um, to keep, keep that going. But, um, yeah, so it's a really uh, it's a really fun thing, and then uh, I want to teach more. It's one of my goals. I want to teach. Regards from Germany. Guten Tag. Ich war in Leipzig drei Monate. Yeah, all of us done besten. But uh, I want to do more uh, more teaching, and this will give me an avenue to do it. And then one of the things that I've I've struggled with this year. Uh, <laughs> um, is uh, one of the things I've struggled with this year is separating my family from my YouTube channel because I have a family, some of y'all know, and uh, I have like my, you know, Josh will be in the backyard, we'll be getting out 80 boxes and then like that's going on and then like my family is trying to eat dinner at five. Well, Josh is asking me like, yo man, I'm ready to go to the post office, blah, blah, blah. So it's like hard for me to uh, separate those two when I got like two kids that need to go to basketball and then like another guy that needs, you know, whatever. So I'm trying to get that whole, uh, like, <laughs> this whole, uh, whole like separation of my family time and uh, my house. So the hopefully the new location will uh, will make that easier for me because it's been a difficult uh, struggle. You know, like right now my kids aren't here, but um, you know they could walk in any door and it's in the door any minute. And that's all over. So I want to really uh, kind of separate the family and the biz and the YouTube channel, you know, like today's Sunday, today's a family day and I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you all and I'm going to go hang out with my family and some of my friends. So that's something that I'm really trying to work on here. And then uh, I want to make crazier videos. I really want to get involved. Uh, I've got a guy who uh, has a, uh, hey, hey, Christy, I think he was just speaking German, by the way. Um, the, uh, I, I want to get crazier videos I want to have like a production quality increase and that's not my forte but uh, I've got my man Andrew coming on uh, he's full-time starting first of the year he's off this week which is why I'm going live so much because I suck at editing and I'd rather just give you guys an hour of my time than some damn editing screen but uh, so that's the truth and uh, he's helped me produce the the quality up and then uh, you know we're gonna try to go uh, more hardcore with the uh, the videos more frequently um, I've debated going with more ShamWow videos from Poland. What's up? Yeah, I'm, uh, you can't separate church and state. I'm trying to separate church and state. And, uh, I want to get the higher, higher quality videos, uh, more, uh, more like, uh, more educated, you know, like this live stream stuff. Like, I shouldn't have to be screwing with this. Like this, I mean, no offense, but like, I should like, you know, there should be like, yo, Andrew, we're going live at four. Like, I want to go like live on certain times a day, every day, doing certain things all the time. To really get it going so everybody's like D's coming on at this time and that's what's up uh, like Thursday nights have been a really great thing for me I want to keep going keep doing with that um, Sundays you know I want to like, like to have hammer videos coming out on Sundays thank you Lamar for saying I'm the most entertaining fish channel I try to have fun you know and I know a lot of people don't like my style but honestly like I do what I do because I'm uh, I'm because I'm like me you know like I think people like me because I am my own self and I'm not like fake or whatever so people that don't like the way that I yell into the camera like whatever like I get to do what I want to do for a living and if you don't like me that's your problem and I'm gonna keep doing like this I won't yell quite as much in the camera because I'm getting a little uh, a little older and quite frankly I, I get sick of hearing myself say what's up fish tank people you know what that's like but uh, it's all good 
So yeah, it's uh, it's a fun thing being real, wearing this, wearing this hat, hat, folks, having my style. It hurts though when you try to put your style on and you're uh, you're doing the Shamwa video, and uh, it wasn't well received. You know what? It is too long. I need to just I'll, I'll bring out the Shamwa more. The Shamwa needs to. Uh, I think I should have the Shamwa once a week. What do you think? Quality of final. Yeah, cool. Thank you, everybody. So cool. So uh, yeah, that's what I got going on. I'm doing some really, uh, I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm doing some really epic scapes right now. I'm really pumped about that. That's not a talking activity, by the way. I'm going to do an entirely, um, I'm going to do an entirely silent series, too. I'm going to do it real quiet. So um, that should be fun. So, yeah, is anybody enjoying this live stream? Can I get a like so I know that there's actual people here? Peter, Peter whatever from Poland. The dude from Poland, hello, what's up? What's up from Poland? So, uh. Any more fish farm visits? Yeah, I'm actually going to down Seagrass again in May, I think. So I don't keep Draconia. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go to Q and A now for like about ten minutes, then I'm gonna go hang out. You should make some merch. Yo, I got uh, I actually got some uh, hoodies up on. I'll uh, have to link that up. I got some hoodies for sale, hoodies and t-shirts. I got the whole Teespring thing going on. I'm gonna link that up for you guys. T E Spring. Here you go. Christy, if this doesn't work, can you help me? Uh, here we go. On Teespring, do a search for Dustin's fish tanks. Where's my stuff here? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Hang on one second here. Here you go. So there's that. Can't help you link it up. There you go. There's the t-shirts going on. Forcing them to watch. Whoa. Cool. All right. So now I got some questions coming in here. I guess I'll get on to this here. I'm going to have to uh, make this larger. I got my old man eye. There we go. Larger. And then how do I slide this over here? Uh, I have to make it smaller. All right. Hold on. World. Hold on. All right. Now I'm going to make it bigger. We're going to do Q&A for a little bit. And then uh, the best question gets ten dollars uh, coupon on my site here. Been in the fish game for a minute. You made it exciting, cool. I try to. Thank you for the love on that. I got the merch. Anybody see the merch? I just linked up. I got the hoodies going on. That's the Teespring thing too. I'd make them cheaper, but that's like the price they set. So that's not bad though. CO2 and lighting. Uh, CO2 knee recharged. Do I just add more sugar and yeast? Uh, dump the whole thing except for a tiny little bit of your culture there, Aqua Noob, and then uh, that will get it going. You'll have to uh, you'll reset it, but you want to keep some of that active culture going and make it easier to re to re go. What else we got here? What else we got in the mix with you? Let me go here. Uh, okay, heading to Florida tomorrow. Oh, what's your biggest biggest plans for 2018? I'm trying to get a new location straight up. You're gonna find out within 10 days. I have a e -X e x x l ocelot. Hey, uh, Joyce, hit up Josh, Greenhouse at Dustin's Fish Tanks .com, and tell him what you're exactly what you're looking for, uh, and then we'll get you taken care of. We got you. We might not ship till Wednesday, though. It's supposed to be super cold. The small ones, I got those. What are some plans that can thrive in brackish? I've never done a brackish tank, Dominic, so I can't help you much there, but I would say Anubius and Java Fern. That's per, per Brian, not me, though. Coffee's still hot. Love it. Uh, let's see here. What's going on? Well, I love D merch. You got the D merch right there, Victor. I just linked it up. You catch that? Uh, let's see here. Get the large size. Joyce, can I make a male beta? Can I put a male beta with the rainbow fish and save up? I wouldn't because rainbows are, are rambunctious and it might just kind of scare them. I don't mess with those two. Bad as I keep with like smaller, more chill fish. Funky little snails growing in my 30 gallon. What might they be? No idea where they came from. I don't know. Get a snail or assassin snail that will eat them. Uh, finally up, not timed out. Yeah, you know, when you got the uh, old internet connection rolling, you're good. If you make an update video on your greenhouse, see how everything is rolling. You know, the problem is people judge me on the greenhouse being dirty. Like, they're skank tanks. Like, look, it's like they're just not, I mean, they're, they're not meant to be aquascapes. Like, I got scapes in here that are pretty solid. But uh, I can do that probably, yeah. So, uh, what's the best way to take care of jungle vial? Lisa Jobs is asking. Um, 
I like to cut jungle. I like to add a lot of potassium, first of all. And then um, potassium is the key. Potassium uh, is the best way to go with jungle vial. And then I like to trim the tops here. Uh, that's what I like to do. Good question. Joyce says, if you don't siphon your substrate, does it hurt your tank? No, it's fine. Good question, Joyce. Good to see you, Joyce, by the way, sister. Where are you in Florida? Top five Amazon fish. I think I just did that video, actually. I'm caught up on the questions. Eureka. 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 I got some really dope videos uh, scripted, by the way, too. Sat down with a pen, got my brain on, and I uh, enjoyed it. I want to show uh, Karen is in the mix. I haven't seen Karen in a while. She's kind of chilling on the ground now. Hmm. What's lighting your 220? Uh, two blasters and a uh, quad output T5. That's what's lighting my 220. And I do want to show uh, I want to show the setup over here I'm doing. This is pretty wicked. I'm really stoked about how this is coming right here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is my favorite tank right here. I've got my own uh, LEDs and I got my own my own uh, lighting stand above it. This is all my but I've got my own like low profile lighting. Can you guys see that? That's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm not trying to I got some of those uh special plants. I need to give them a full celebration video. Shit, it's fun. By the way, all you don't be going out and getting all drunk tonight. Take it easy. It's life's too short. I think I had a friend whose girl died in a drunk driving accident. You don't want to mess with that. Everybody be safe. Is it angle towards me? Show your bow front scape. You want to see that? I can do that. What's with you go, with your go to music while you're doing maintenance on your tank? Oh, dude, I I honestly I run quiet on my uh, See that? Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't do it justice. And there's the ten. The ten's looking pretty tough too. Pink chair. And dirty day. Yeah. Why won't you answer my question, Gary? What's your question? Why do people get so angry about this? You said that red. Look, what's your what's your question, homie? Uh, let's see here. Lighting video, 2018. Yeah, working on lighting video. What assassin snails do you recommend? Yeah, I think there's only one type of assassin snail actually. Could be wrong. Where's the mega tank? It's in the garage. What's your favorite thing about the hobby? When I get to work on my tanks without a camera on. Now, my favorite thing about the hobby is the balance between art and nature, or art and uh, science and nature, where you can like create something that's your own unique piece of nature, but you have to know how to the science behind it to make it work. My family's home. I was hoping to go play with who they're hanging out with. So yeah, what's the uh, the guy that was angry? I didn't answer his question. What's your question, dude? Uh, if someone wanted to get enough plants to do a 135, would you give another? Oh yeah, we got a we got a sale going on right now. Actually, use the promo code Carpet. You save 20 percent off. Um, just email us, Joy, or we'll make you a deal there. What carpeting plant that is a uh, that is baby tears actually. Little piece of nature. How about Dusty fan trip to Peru contest? Haha, <laughs> it's not a bad idea actually. Dustin, do you know if Dracania, Spathiella, Ophiana, Tramanana, Singhaus needs CO2? I've never kept that species, dude. I can't help you. I think that's an above water species, to be honest. So, there you go, Gary. All right. Any plants to avoid high hardness? Uh, yeah, you'd want to avoid that with uh, Tomina Bellum. That's not, not many people have that. Oh, 18%, excuse me, Ellie. Yeah, that's the deal. Now, I'm in Kentucky. What's the best carpeting plants for gravel substrate? None. There's none. So. Because gravel doesn't have anything to feed them. you got to feed your plants. Do I run CO2? No. I run a high output um, halide or halide, and then I run a good substrate. Best plants for beginners in a long to medium lighted tank. Uh, I mean, the Nubius Java Fern and all that will do you good. Hey, honey, the girls with you? Cool. Store sold me an aquatic plant. Sorry, Gary. Above water plants, Petco sells them as aquatic. Yep. The Nubius runners won't go. You're playing. I got crayfish today. and Three of them died. That stinks. Sorry. No. 
You know, Nubius won't run Mr. Miggles because, or M Miggy 6 because uh, it needs uh, a little bit more light and higher calcium content. Cool. Uh, setting up the 70 gallon community tank, looking for a centerpiece. Uh, you got to go with Angelfish on that. If you're asking me, that's my favorite right there. How much CO2 do you run in the greenhouse? Uh, I actually don't run any in that. Uh, I take that back. We do some liquid CO2 in certain tanks, but not a lot. Uh, let's see here. If you had a 10, 29, 37, and a 60 inch left for a tank, what would you get? Would you get big, one big tank, or a combo of the two? Uh, 54 inch custom would limit a set. That's a good question. Corey's asking if you had a 10, a 29, 37, uh, or a 60 inch, 37 tall, and a 60 inch left for tanks. I'm not understanding exactly the question though, buddy. I think you're asking and 60 inches left for a tank. I would just get a uh aha, Lucas Pretz in the mix. What's up, homie? Thanks for the super chat, bro. Um we gotta get a collab going. I gotta talk to you about some things. Um I mean I would do a 55 or 75, man, because then you could save the six inches and cause you can use anything on those, because this 48 inch tank is for anything. Hope that answers your question. Uh, can you do hair grass with dirt and gravel sand and some natural light? Yes, Felix, you can, but barely. Really, really shallow water is your biggest thing there. Can you go carpeting plants and dirt a tank with a gravel cap? Yes, I do. I do. We do. Lucas Brett's in the mix. Would you do predatory fish? I was talking about it. At. What are you up to in the 220? In the 220, I'm doing what's called Noah's Ark. I didn't mean to have two of every type of fish. It just kind of happened. And uh, that's what I'm doing. How do your lights come to be? Did you make them? No, I actually uh, found a manufacturer here in the United States that could do them after working with three different companies to try to figure it out. Third time is a charm. And uh, now i got my own line of LEDs. My standard doubles, my best selling fixture. I actually gave one away last week. Um, yeah. And that's how they came to be. I wasn't happy with the LEDs on the market. And um, I got together with the scientists and we figured out the best spectral composition. And now I got my own line of LEDs. And it took a lot of work. It's cool to talk about now, but it took, it took a couple, like about, about six months of a bunch of different companies to really figure that out. Uh, highest temp to kill egg. I got 82. Uh, I've never grown a crane plants for seed, not really. Get Paku in the 320. I thought about it actually. I really I've been actually researching Paku pretty immensely. Uh, my my picks for a big tank would be they wouldn't go in the 320, would be uh, tilapia, paku, and yellow perch. Yellow perch because it can get cold. Best tip for someone who started a business like yours, make a thousand videos. Make a thousand videos. And don't expect to make a bunch of money, dude. Although if you're a wrestler state champ, if you actually are a wrestling state champ, props to you, you know how to hustle and work hard. Uh, it takes a lot of work, and you're not going to make a lot of money. You'd be making more money if you work for someone else. But you get to do what you love every day. So there you go. But uh, it takes it takes years, man. I mean, I've been doing this since 2009, and the business has been around for like four years. So, can I grow bulbitis in low light and CO2? Absolutely, Jeff. You happened to see my 75 gallon? I sent you a link in the message. I didn't, Jeff. I'm sorry, man. You could use CO2 in there. Do you like to eat tilapia? I do. Drop in and say hi. Uh, hello. What's the reason for my Anubia sleeves looking a little transparent? Lack of nutrients. What's a good fur for sand based substrate? Shameless plug, Dustin's growth juice. Yeah. So, folks, my family has arrived. So, I'm going to split. Glad the internet connection was better on this, though. Glad y'all got it. Here's the hoodies and the t-shirts if you want to support your boy. Want to buy on your blaster series. Uh, blasters don't go on sale, man. You may not even need a blaster, though. It's hard to put. Crenum uh, Comic and stuff like There's the hoodies. Um, Want to buy your blasters. Yeah, cool. You got it. Recycle fish water and water change. Yeah. Um, you could just refine. I, I have to do a whole video on that. That's a great idea. Eight in the morning. Cool. You got it. So grow through some vertebrates it's safe, yes, but don't use a lot of it. I'm going to make a version that's not. Am I ready for the game? The Browns are going to lose, man. I'm not even going to watch it. Don't even, not even going to watch play. It's not worth doing. I want to watch the coach get Blake Erie because he's a punk. 
one in 29 or whatever we are. Crenum, low light. Nah, it needs high CO2 contrast. Yup. Mm. Rainhorn snails. Don't don't really dig them. All right, folks. Cool. These got to roll. Carpet plant recommend shrimp highlight and samurai soil. Uh, ninety gallon blaster. Yes. Um, I'd roll LEDs over metal halide ninety percent of the time. It depends on your application, though. How deep of a tank you're trying to do. On a, on a ninety gallon, you may want a blaster, but it depends on what you're trying to grow, man. You may just need a standard double. Said you're making a video about recycling fish water. Yeah, I'd like to do that. What's your website? It's DustinsFishTanks.com. I'm not shipping to Canada. Nope. Yeah. Should I go with the Nubius or Java Fern? I would go with the Nubius. DustinsFishTanks.com. Cool. All right, everybody. Dusty's going to roll. Wipey's home. I'm out. Tank on. Happy New Year. Write down your, uh, your goals. Use the promo code carpet. Save yourself 18% on my site. Ends tomorrow. Later on. Love you, love you, love you. Always thinking of you. Tank on. Tank on. Tank on. Tank on. Tank on. Tank on. I don't even know how to end a live stream, but I'll figure it out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Tag on. Later.